it's day 15 um, yeah I highly don't recommend doing projects like this and having kids living in the house because it's so easy to wake up in the morning and be like okay I'm gonna get a good start on stuff and the next thing you know you just sucked into a baby abyss and there goes three hours so the other night and me and the wife are sitting on the porch anyway we're talking about the roof and she says I really like the way this looks back here we should do the same thing in the front so there's pros and cons to this the pros I've already done the back there's really no learning curve in the front I've, I've kind of I've got the system down already the other pro is not that I ever want to but if I need to I can walk on it whereas using the same material that's there there's no way I'll ever be able to walk on that stuff another thing is the stuff in the back and the stuff in the front they don't completely match there's a uh, like a 45 degree cut on it where it sits up against the house so parts of the ribs are cut down so I'd have to figure out how to do that so this is the material from the back now this stuff here in the front it's got like a 45 degree cut back in there so that's what I'm getting at another pro is that it'll look consistent in the front and the back I know we're gonna change the back at some point but at least for the time being it'll it'll all look consistent um, and in the same sense it kind of like takes away from the uh, the look of the whole manufactured home kind of thing it kind of gives it more of a ranch style look feel to the house the con so far i'm into this project about twenty five hundred dollars um, it costs about eleven $1 hundred dollars for the metal that's going to go on the roof and fourteen hundred dollars for lumber uh the front is going to be a little bit bigger of an area so i'm looking at another twenty five hundred this is going to be five thousand dollar project when it's all said and done with by doing it this way but i know a couple years down the road i will be happy that i made this decision and did it the same on both sides instead of using the material that I've already got the material that we do have will definitely be put to use somewhere but I think it would be better utilized elsewhere than on the house okay so this this explains why I stopped my plywood where I did I wanted a full piece here that's gonna connect the 12 foot section to the 5 foot section so it's just uh, I'd much rather have a full piece here as opposed to having a cut where it meets I'm going to continue my staggering here and finish up over there and this is gonna be done and this piece here too it's another piece where it's connecting both sides I made a little cut right there at the edge of the 12 foot section but we still got another 16 inches uh, going into the into the 5 foot area so we got lots of uh, 12 foot area connecting in the 5 foot area so it should be pretty stable all the way across check it out all the plywood's on looks fantastic if I do say so myself There she is and with that I'm gonna call phase one complete see you on the front side of the house